Getting useless emails might be close to the top of everyone's list of most hated things on the internet. No one likes getting spammed and there are tons of tiny little creatures known as spam bots that live to do exactly that. To avoid unwanted messages, lots of people use various email obfuscators with varying levels of success. Hi, my name is Ben Plesier and with this video I will show you an easy way to obfuscate your email address. What is email obfuscation? Why do we need email obfuscation? To answer the latter first, have a look at this code sample. This was taken from one of the sites in the featured showcases category. To be fair, there are many more examples to be obtained from the same category. This is what spurred me to make this video on the subject. I am talking about the mail to notation and the at symbol. Both of these are a feast for hungry email harvesters. I will leave the result of these harvests up to your imagination. What is email obfuscation? It is a method to make the email address hard to read. Many methods have been devised to achieve this. Cloudflare have devised a method where the email address is encrypted and decrypted on the server. Others have used images or changed the email address so that it is not readily recognizable. One of the more successful methods is to reverse the text direction. With the help of Wappler, I will show you an easy method that will leave email harvesters with an empty stomach. In Wappler, I have a page containing the email address. In the past, I have been asked to show the code to make it easier to follow along. So, here we go in split view. When I click on the email button in the footer, this also highlights the corresponding code in code view. This is the exact same view that a spam bot has of the page. The email address is ready for harvesting. I copy the email address and head off to the workflows panel. Right clicking API, I add an action. I have called the action file, personal. But this can be anything to your liking. Inside the just created file, I add an action step, by choosing core actions and set value. I name the set value step, ML. I could have called it email. But I felt that ML would be less likely to attract sniffing bots. For the value I paste the copied email address. For the second action step, I again select core actions and set value. This time I name the step, ML underscore link. For the value, I enter, mail to, colon, paste the email address and add the subject line as shown. These values are required to show on the front end. For this I activate output for each. Save the file and I am done with the back end. Back in our document, I add server connect and add a recognizable ID. For the action, I choose the action that I just created. Then I select the email address and remove the font awesome icon. I also remove the email address. Inside the nav bar list item, I add a link. With the link still selected, I scroll down to dynamic attributes and select, link. For the value, I choose server connect, data and ml underscore link. For the link text, I choose ml in the same location. Now add a space before the ML data source and add an envelope icon. This part is a bit fiddly, but the result is rewarding. No indication in the code that we are referring to an email address. And that is it. Simple, yet effective. If this video has been of benefit to you, please give it the thumbs up below. This will encourage me to create more of the same. Thank you for watching.